right, coming in next, we have a uh, winner of Best Supporting Female for Tangerine, Maya Taylor. have this trophy in my hand. Um, when I look at acting, I don't look at the money or the fame or anything like that. I went through a very, very hard struggle. And for me, I just feel like when I do stuff like this, I have to let other people know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. So yeah, because the struggle was real for me and I got out of it. You next. Uh-huh. Acceptance meaning uh, for being transgender. Um there has been a shift, I guess. I mean, I see like more people being open about like different genders and different races and stuff like that. I mean, we could have avoided it like a million years ago with all the sexism and racism and stuff like that. You know, I can easily just say people should be minding their business and you know, like it'll make life a lot easier, you know, like in worrying about what somebody else's gender is or who they're having sex with or whatever the case may be. I mean, because that's not paying any of my bills to worry about what you guys have to do. So, y you see what I'm saying? Haven't I interviewed with you before? <laughs> Sean is a complete sweetheart. And, you know, um, he, he gave me the script, and I was like, Sean, we got to spice this up because I don't want to be saying this shit. Like, you know, we really need to make this funny and everything. So, like, he was very open to everything that I had to say. So, it was fun working with him. What advice would I give to people who have not achieved their dreams yet? You know, um, almost two years ago, I had applied for 186 jobs in one month and did 26 interviews. The reason why I couldn't get a job was because my name and gender wasn't changed. You know, even though I look like a girl, then go inside of an employment agency or whatever, and then it says something else on my ID, I couldn't get a job. And, you know, it was very depressing and everything, but I pushed and pushed and pushed. And then when this opportunity came, it was the opportunity given from God, and I took it. And, you know, I guess, like, it made up for all the struggles that I had went through. So keep pushing. Didn't I interview with you yesterday? <laughs> North Dakota. This is heavy. <laughs> I live in North Dakota because I fell in love with the most amazing guy in the whole entire world. He's, he's more amazing than any of the LA men in this room. Like, I love him. And plus, um, the reason why I stayed there is because it's quiet. You know, um, it's very cold, which I love, because I hate the heat. Like, right now, I'm sweating all of the paint off my face. That's not cute. Um, so I just love being there. Like, it's, it's different. You know, it was something new. And I had struggled a lot here in LA. So living here, you know, like, it kind of reminded me of all the struggles that I had went through, even though this is also where I came up at. But still, I still have those memories and I just want to live far away. You? Didn't I interview you earlier? No, we talked about a lot of stuff, girl. I interviewed you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It feels good. It feels accomplishing. You know, like, um, damn, I have so many people that I want to still think, you know, there's so many people that's just been a part of my life. Um, 
my amazing, amazing publicist, Caitlin and Adam, you know, I didn't get to mention their names because the teleprompter says, hurry up, like when you're going too long. <laughs> but um, it feels good, you know? No. No, when I want to do something in LA, I just fly back and forth. And plus, if I lived here, I'd be more available. You know, I can't be having none of that going on. Yeah. Um, my next project is working on my TV show. We're um, developing a TV show, my agency and I. Well, I can't tell you too much tea about it, girl. Oh, well, I will tell you, okay. It will be very educational, but it'll be very funny and very dramatic at the same time. Everything that Tangerine is, but it will be a lot more. Think about watching Empire. You constantly want to know what's going to happen for the next episode. That's what my shit is going to be like. <laughs> the donut shop? What about it? Uh, I heard that they're going out of business, so I'm pretty sad about that. They're, they're, I think they're selling or something, so I'm pretty sad about that. Yeah.